The everlasting need to satisfy our gastric desires is what drives consumerism in the food industry. As we become masters of food cultivation, truth became irrelevant as to how foods were made and where they came from. If you were amazed with the 12 food products in our previous video, here are 15 more things you eat that are a lie. Amazing! Number 15. The cake, I mean, tuna. This one relates to how you're not always getting what you ask for. In 2013, a genetic test by a nonprofit of 1,215 samples of fish in restaurants and supermarkets showed that 84% of sushi restaurants in the U.S. mislabeled and replaced tuna with escalar, a fish known to cause prolonged, uncontrollable, oily anal leakage. How appetizing. If you've ever wondered why the sushi in the display case is so affordable, given the dire state of the world's tuna supply, well, now you know. Number 14. 100% orange juice products. As the world population grows by millions every year, the demand for food increases exponentially. With this in mind, food makers have found ingenious ways to produce food efficiently and store them for years without spoilage. The orange juice, for example, has to be stripped of oxygen, a process known as deaeration, in order to last for a year. This process, however, removes all the natural flavors of oranges. So, how do they make oranges taste like oranges again? Well, most juice companies these days, including those with the 100% orange juice marketing ads, often rely on flavor and fragrance companies to restore what's lost during its storage process. That all-natural taste. Number 13. Quaker Oats When it comes to weight loss, oatmeal is probably one of the most popular foods that most people consider as healthy. Scientific studies suggest that oats lower risk of several diseases, including high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol levels, making oatmeal a staple of the modern-day breakfast. The problem is, not all oats are created equal. Many oatmeal companies resort to the use of chemical agents in speeding up drying and harvesting processes. Quaker oats, for example, have been found to have traces of glyphosate, a popular herbicide which the World Health Organization considers as a probable carcinogen. A lawsuit was even filed to PepsiCo, the maker of Quaker Oats, for false advertising and misleading campaigns. Quaker Oats, while still marketed as a healthy food, might not be so healthy after all. Number 12. Zero Calorie Drinks If you live by the calorie-in, calorie-out rule, Zero-calorie beverages would be delightful substitutes for boring, tasteless water. The truth is, these drinks aren't that effective at substituting real food in your everyday diet. In fact, zero-calorie foods dampen natural fat burners since they are mostly composed of highly processed ingredients that often interrupt natural body processes. With the popularity of calorie-free beverages and diet programs, researchers at the University of Texas Health Science Center made a study about non-sugar-based drinks. Surprisingly, they have discovered that regular consumption of diet soda often leads to weight gain. Espartame, a commonly used substance to replace sugar, has been found to raise blood glucose levels to get stored into fat. Want to know a secret for weight loss? Eat real food! Number 11. Wendy's Natural Cut Fries As more and more people get health conscious these days, fast food corporations are trying their very best to provide healthy options. Wendy's, in particular, came up with a healthier version of their regular french fries, leaving potato skins on and making them crispier. This is, on the other hand, a far cry from real natural produce. Like in most fast food chains, these fries often go through unnatural treatments. Chemicals such as sodium acid pyrophosphate and dextrose, for example, are used in food processing facilities to retain the potato's natural colors after deep frying sessions. While Wendy's natural cut fries are better tasting, they are certainly not that natural. Number 10. Grape Nuts This popular cereal has found its way in the pages of American history books as a staple food for expedition groups in the early 1900s. Due to its resistance to spoilage and nutritional value, it has become one of the most popular breakfast foods to date. Funny thing is, grape nuts do not contain anything related to grapes or nuts. Grape nuts are, in fact, made from a combination of wheat, barley, soy, and dried yeast. While there are many theories behind this misleading name, the most plausible reason lies within its creation. C.W. Post, the maker of grape nuts, got the grape part of the name 
from what he used as a sweetener for the cereal, maltose, which was also known as grape sugar back in the day. The nut in the name, however, came from the cereal's nutty flavor. Number 9. German Cake If you're eating German cake, you must be under the impression that you're eating a foreign delicacy. Guess what? The German cake is a lie. In fact, it is 100% pure American confection. Samuel German, who's an Englishman by the way, came to America in 1852 and decided to create a new recipe for baking chocolate. What he came up with was a dark-looking chocolate, mostly because of its high sugar content. As it was tastier than other kinds of chocolates back then, the owner of the mill where he worked, Walter Baker, liked his recipe and bought it for $1,000. Walter then started selling his new chocolate bars under the name Baker's German Chocolate Cake. Over time, the name got shortened into what we know today as the German cake. Number 8. Apple Pie The apple pie, the flag of American pastry, and a patriotic symbol that served every 4th of July. When Uncle Sam asked would-be soldiers to join the army, they responded for mom and apple pie. So are you as American as apple pie? Because if you are, then what you're really saying is that you're not from America. The truth is, the main ingredient of apple pies, apples of course, are not native from America, just like the majority of the white folks. Alexander the Great, the one who discovered the fruit, is said to have brought apples to Macedonia from a faraway land, which is now known as Kazakhstan. So, how did these apples end up in American soil? Well, the Romans have introduced apples to English empires, and then they were brought to English colonized lands throughout the world, which includes America. If apples did not originally come from America, what about pies? It's funny, but they're not American either. In fact, pies have been around long before the English Empire began shipping apples to America. The first pies, in fact, were first made in Egypt. Number 7. Wasabi Traditionally used as a natural herb, the wasabi is now known as a popular condiment for Japanese dishes like soba noodles, sashimi, and of course, sushi. It's a very delicate plant and most farmers would agree that it's the hardest plant to grow. It is for this reason that most Asian restaurants in the Western Isles use substitutes instead of the real deal. It's also very expensive, which makes a lot of restaurant owners go for cheaper alternatives. If you've eaten wasabi, there's a big chance that what you just ate was a mixture of horseradish, mustard, and food color. Real wasabi, on the other hand, tastes more herbal and it doesn't have a lingering burning aftertaste that often comes from artificial spices. Number 6. Decaf Coffee Most people love to drink decaf coffee, to have that perfect bitter taste without all the jitters. The reason for this is not because of the coffee being decaffeinated, but because of an individual's caffeine sensitivity. Yes, you guessed that right, decaf coffee isn't really caffeine free. According to FDA regulations, Coffee products are allowed to bear the decaf label by having 97% of the original caffeine removed from coffee beans. Since not every coffee bean is created equal, there are some that will have more caffeine contents. Robusta beans, the ones used in coffee brands like Maxwell House and Folgers, have twice the caffeine content of Arabica beans, which is often used in Starbucks and Caribou. So, if you're highly sensitive to caffeine, drinking decaf coffee doesn't make much of a difference. Number 5. Extra Virgin Olive Oils When it comes to food, olive oils have become widely used for a variety of reasons. In fact, Americans spend more than $700 million on olive oils every year. However, they have been lying to us all these years about their virginity. It's quite off-putting, to say the least, since they are one of the most expensive oils you can buy ranging up to $30 per half a liter container. According to the National Consumers League, fraud is extensive in the olive oil business. Believe it or not, more than two-thirds of olive oil brands that you see in supermarkets these days are actually made up mostly of soybean oil, which is, of course, chemically engineered to taste like real olive oil. Number 4. Vitamin Water Zero – Naturally Sweetened These beverages were indented to replace that all-natural water, offering more benefits to the human body. As it turns out, these drinks have a lot in common with bubbly sodas that are mostly considered as junk food. The naturally sweetened Vitamin Water Zero, for example, may seem as healthy as natural organic drinks, but it doesn't really offer much, aside from sugar and micronutrients that people are already getting enough of. In 2009, 
Coca-Cola, the maker of vitamin water, was sued for making deceptive and unsubstantial health claims, only to respond by saying that no one actually believes their flashy marketing and making a big deal out of it is nonsense. In truth, vitamin water really is vitamin zero. Number 3. Fake Blueberries Do you think the blueberries you often find in cereals, muffins, bagels, and breads are real? Well, try turning their packages around. You're probably one of the luckiest people on earth to find real blueberries, listed as one of the ingredients in these mass-produced food products. Instead, most companies these days use cheaper substitutes, which are mostly composed of chemically engineered substances to replace real blueberries. Kellogg's, General Mills, and even the healthier blueberry products like Betty Crocker's use artificial blueberry bits, which is a far cry from the real ones you see in their product packaging. What you really get is a combination of flour, hydrogenated soybean oil, sucralose, citric acid, and of course, the obligatory blue and red food pigment agents. Number 2. Truffle Oil Truffles exist naturally, even considered as a wild product by some. The aroma you get from it when used in recipes is what makes it so popular, especially for food aficionados, and too expensive for average consumers. In fact, the world's largest truffle was sold at an auction for more than $60,000. The truffle oil, however, is a different story. You might not know this, but truffle oil isn't even made from real truffles. While it seemed like the easiest and cheapest way to add some unique aroma in food, it's also the quickest way to devolve dishes into having metallic scents. The reason for this is that it originally came from an organic compound called 2-4-dithiapentine, which is closely related to formaldehyde and other aromatic compounds that barely mimic scents coming from real truffles. Number 1. Carrots Carrots are great. They could be eaten raw or cooked. You can put them in fresh salads or cook them alongside other vegetables and meat. Carrots are also rich in vitamins and nutrients, such as beta-carotene and vitamin K. So what's wrong with carrots? While they certainly didn't lie about their health benefits, historical documents show that carrots are in fact originally purple or white in color. These carrots were first cultivated in Middle Eastern countries thousands of years ago, having the orange variety magically appear in the early 1500s. The orange carrots you often see these days are said to be a product of genetic modification to honor the Dutch king, William of Orange, and his royal house. Do you know any food lies we never mentioned in the list? Please let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.